Hey for faces, I just want to do a quick little video today showing you guys what I'm getting on Amazon haul, uh, excuse me, Amazon Prime, excuse me, Amazon subscribe and save. I do have an Amazon Prime and I've thought about getting rid of it because they raise the price and I hate it when people do that or corporations do that, but I do feel like it's really, it is saving me enough money. I really have to constantly compare prices on this compared to, you know, what I can get it for locally. Uh, I don't like the extra trash aspect, but, um, you know, we all have to make sacrifices in some ways. Um, I definitely am still saving like $10 on dog food almost. And, you know, once you get the deal with subscribe and save, if you're not uh, familiar, if you get, I think if you get three items, you get like a 5% discount, but then I always get, try to get five items whenever I do it. And that way you get a 15% discount. And um, sometimes you can even save on tax if your state does not charge tax for online purchases. Um, so I end up saving a lot of money on this, I feel like, and I've always said in the past, to not having to go to the store sometimes saves me from making impulse buys. And I don't do it every single month. I Most, most months I tend to, pu to push it back. And you got to be careful because you do, they're not that great about, they do send an email at a certain date and they'll give you a certain date. If this is your delivery date that you request, because like I said, you can change it almost any time unless you wait too late. Um, but you can change it, you can push it back and you can have it sent whenever you want. So, you know, they have a date that you choose to, to have it delivered and then they have a cutoff date that they'll tell you, um, you know, you need to change your order by this date and so a lot of times I'll go in there and move it back like right now uh, don't have my tax return back right now and I don't have enough money to pay for it all so I just bumped it back till March sometime so um, yeah, I can also bump it sooner if I want to um, but yeah I just wanted to show you guys I know a lot of people are interested in this and somebody had just asked me about it a couple weeks ago so I figured I'd show you what I'm currently getting on Amazon subscribe and save I don't get all of my supplements from Amazon Prime. I compare the prices and when I do and I find that they're a lot cheaper, then I go ahead and get them. When I buy this, which is not all the time, I definitely buy it on Amazon Prime. Normally on Amazon, it's about $23 or $24. When you get it on Amazon Prime, it is $20.22. So that's the cheapest I've ever found it. This is something else that I don't get all the time, but if I want to splurge, I will go ahead and get this for the kids. Um, it's 40 ounces for a pack of four. So in the store for me, that would be over $5. I'm barely saving money on this, but it's also nice to have them around. I get this for $20.33. Again, not so healthy, but my kids love them. And only the soy and the chili are vegan in this brand. Um, they're pretty cheap anyways, but with Amazon subscribe and save, you get 24 for only less than $6. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, this one's interesting because it actually showing me that I'm saving 20% instead of just the 15. And it's funny because I'm not even sure why. This is the vegan dog food that my dog does really, really well on. And I get it here again, 20% off. It's $41.68. I cannot find this for less than 50 or 60, um, $50 on sale at a local store or $60 usually. So it's a very good deal for me. These are definitely my favorite cereal bars. They are fully vegan and they're non-GMO. Um, you get six box of six of these, normally $18 approximately. Um, when you get 15% off with subscribe and save, that's $15.25. These soups are popping up in more and more places with the no salt added, which I love. I used to have to only buy these on Amazon, but um, I am finding them more places, but still they're really a lot cheaper um, on Amazon, unless there's a really, really, really good deal going on. You get a pack of 12 of these. Normally on Amazon, it's $33. Um, comes to about $28.05, so $0.16 cents an ounce. I really love this toothpaste. I'm kind of obsessed with tea tree oil. This is fluoride-free and vegan. Um, it's $2.79 as an add-on item. Actually, I'm not even seeing it. I think they might have taken this off of 
the subscribe and save. It's still on my subscribe and save, but I can't see the price, but I think it's approximately the same. Pretty good deal. This vitamin D I found is also cheaper from Amazon Prime, um, although pretty similar to a local health food store. So if I don't plan ahead, I just tend to buy it from my local store, but I can save usually about a dollar or two by buying it on Amazon Prime at 15% off. So here are some vegetarian dog treats that I like to get for my dog. Normally they're $6.36 on Amazon. I get these for $5.41 price has gone up since I started buying these so I might want to re um, double check this you know and make sure that it's still a really good deal but I do like to have some items that are lower priced on here so that I can bump up to the five from the five percent to the fifteen percent you know if you have five items you save more so sometimes I just like to have the lower ticket price items they've reached that amount these greens are a steal. Normally, I feel like you can't get things like this for less than about $22 or $24 at the store, around here at least. Um, Amazon, you can get them for $19.97, but on Subscribe and Save, you can get them for $16.97. You get bulk beans on Amazon, but I, unfortunately, I don't really usually see those on a Subscribe and Save. Same with the rice, 25 pound bags are a pretty good deal. Now I get my rice from Costco since they've finally come around with that. But this is nutritional yeast. Um, so you can get this for $11.03 normally, $9.38 for one pound of it. And I will have to compare that to Sprouts, but it is 59 cents an ounce. There's a piece at the store. Um, for a pack of, I think, like five, you get 50 with this, and that comes out to, well, let's see, normally it's $26.51, but for Amazon Subscribe and Save, you get it for $22.53. B12, another very important supplement for vegans. This one, um, I can't get it in the stores for less than $12, $13, maybe even $14 or so. You can get it on Amazon as an add-on item for $9.44 or a one-time purchase, but with subscribe and save, it's $8.02. Pumpkin is amazing. I love to add cocoa powder or sugar and make a nice pudding or make some nice yummy curries. Ooh, so good. So you get 12 of these in a package, and this is just a really good staple item to have on hand. Um, I also feed it to my dog if I run out of you know, dog food or want to supplement his dog food. So um, normally $25.08, Amazon subscribe and save, it's $21.32 for 12. These little wipes are great. They're just flannel baby wipes but i use them as toilet paper you can also just use them as facial cloths or just little light washcloths they do hold up really well but you get 15 for eight dollars and 46 cents on subscribe and save so i think that's a great deal so yeah that's it thanks so much for watching let me know what you guys think do you have other finds that you like to get on amazon or amazon subscribe and save um, do you think these are good deals or not? And also don't forget to stay subscribed and uh, follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and claryberry.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.